Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. So, uh, thanks to everybody who uh, bought something for my sale. Uh, definitely put me over the top to get the truck. So, uh, the truck should be coming tomorrow. Uh, pretty excited about it. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who bought something, especially the guy who bought the toad package. Uh, I was very happy that uh, someone actually did buy it and understood why it, the, why I put it the price I put it at. I mean, I had like $400 into the thing. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, I put like everything into it so someone would buy it to help me out with the truck. It's hard to, I have a video actually, I used uh, B Dunn's camera. Uh, so you can see a really good shots because it's not as uh, shiny or not as uh, colorful and fruity looking as uh, you might think. See from uh, there's like reds in here and dark oranges. See the red, reddish orange right here. It's just really awesome. So, but it didn't show up too well on the camera the other night. But uh, I was about to actually keep this thing because I didn't think anybody would buy it. So, but uh, then yeah. Yeah, someone bought it, so. But luckily he's uh, agreed to let me borrow it for the Blade Show coming up, so he'll send it back to me, and I really appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much. <clears throat> and today I'm eating seeing the uh, Tad Dauntless. Everything else sold, so I decided I would keep it, because I do like it, uh, and uh, now I've grown attached to it, so now it's mine for good, so. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much. And the pimp jobs I have tonight, guys, are really crazy. Uh, kind of just did something that I've never done before and I thought it turned out pretty awesome on some knives that you would not expect it on. So um, first up, now I know everybody's been talking about this knife. This is the Benchmade Flipper. Uh, it is a, uh, who's the guy who designed this? I can never, I can't even read it. Well, you guys know what I'm talking about. Just came out. Uh, came out with these horrendous scales on them. I'm sorry, but this looks terrible. Um, really just is, you know, it's peel ply with the little cuts on the side. Yeah, I don't like it. Um, funny thing is this, this knife actually came from the maker, the designer of this knife. Um, a friend of his. Yeah, so no offense. I just don't like this color, uh, the way they did this on here. Uh, but the guy who sent this did, instead of paying for it, he actually sent me, like, some drill bits and stuff. And, uh, he definitely went more than out of his way and hooked me up, guys. I mean, he sent me, like, some crazy nice, like, end mills and, and, uh, yeah, he told him I needed taps or whatever. So he gave me two of the size taps I need the most, like, multiples of each one. Just awesome. Like, tons of money worth of stuff here. And he just, I guess he's got the hookup, so. I've already used some of these for milling and, you know, on my drill press, and they work damn good. Um, especially these these little counter sink things. These are awesome. But there's all sorts of stuff. There's there's about four more trays of these things sitting over here. Some little ones. And this stuff is uh, it's kind of like the carbide burr bits, but a lot stronger. A little bit more dangerous, but they are awesome. So thank you, dude. So I figured I'd get your job, your pimp job done real fast, uh, just because I know the the amount of money those are worth are far exceed the pimp job. So. Uh, and plus, I've been interested in doing this one for a while. Now, uh, it, the, the Acid Stone Wash is a little different, a little less uh, aggressive because they wanted to keep the logos on there. So, just dipped it in for a little while. So, here's the blade here. Just lightly stone washed. You can see the logo still on there. This is one of the limited first production. Um, see the logo up here. But anyway, simple pimp job, nothing too crazy, but I did go a little extra on it, just for the hell of it. Uh, you got the black G10 with the diamond pattern, the double diamond pattern actually. Nice and heavily sandblasted, give it some really good texturing. Clip is in acid washed and stone washed. And I did some new kind of a heat treatment on the, uh, a heat coloring on the, the screws. Uh, they're actually just regular satin screws, as you can see. They're pretty much black now. Uh, some of them kind of a, like a, kind of like a pearly black color. Some of them are a little bit more satin than others. And the same with the uh, button here. 
and the uh, standoffs are just kind of heat heat colored a little bit just to give it like something extra going on. Same with the uh, the uh, thumb stud. Uh, it's nice. I heard good things about this knife. I don't love it, uh, but it, it's definitely cool. It feels really good with a bit thicker scales, just a tad thicker. Feels really good. The pie clip's good. Um, it's a good knife. I mean, okay, I can't say there's anything wrong with it at all. It's definitely a good design. Uh, and uh, just, you know, good steel, 154cm. G10, you know, I mean, besides the crap that comes on there. Very comfortable. Very solid, apparently. I've seen some uh, a cut test or a uh, lock test with this one. Uh, but it's good, guys. It's definitely good. I may or may not put a backspacer in this guy. Any of the uh, liners are also acid washed. They're a little light looking on camera, but they're a lot darker in person. But uh, yeah, I just need some lube in there. Maybe the pivot's too tight, but it's nice and smooth. This needs to be broken. Sometimes new scales are just. Oh, you know what? I didn't lube up the, uh, that's what I forgot. Yeah, this area here, the mill, I didn't put any lubricant there, so it's got to be a little bit grittier than usual. But I'll do that. But Jeff, another Jeff, I hope you like it, man. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, now on to the epic San Remus. And I'm sorry, people hate the word epic, but I gotta use it because it just describes. I can't wait to hear the comments of who the hell would spend that much money on a San Remu pimp job. Why would you do that to a San Remu? Like, it's not worth it. But you know what, guys? This guy has been, you know, as, as, as it goes, if somebody waits a little bit longer, I'm gonna do something for them. Do something to make them really happy and make it worth the wait. So this guy waited not too much longer past what I told him, uh, but you know, there's San Remus and yeah, I figure it makes something special out of them. The first one's just nice, not too much done. Well, there's a lot done to it, but not as crazy as the last one. So please stick around for the last one. So the first one here, you want it to look really worn like a thing had been like sitting around, like, you know, just gathering dust and like rusting out, you know, like kind of like a fallout thing. So I did something different here, and I got to thank WR Blade Works, uh, my large WR SKF flipper. You guys notice the copper on it has those scratches, and it kind of looks like wood grain or or like bark or something like that. He told me how he did that. I tried it out with this one, and it turned out awesome. I really like it. So you got the heavily acid washed, uh, destroyed looking blade. It's kind of blotchy, and just looks like it's just rusting a little bit. Or something like that. Just kind of gives it that effect, but still shiny. Uh, bronze the thumb stud. Then you have just the original scale, just slightly contoured, uh, and it was given the I don't know the scratch treatment here, which I think looks really nice. Uh, as you can see, the screws are bronze as well. Um, stone washed. Or they're being acid washed. There's that damn shadow again. Acid washed, um, sandblasted, acid washed, polished up on this, just you know, because it's really deep scratches in there. Uh, kind of polished the tips of it just to give it more contrast. Uh, then I did that same heat heat treatment I did on the for the screws on this uh, to get it darker in the cracks there. Um, pocket clip was also acid washed, gave this weird effect to it. Um, but overall, I think it looks it looks really cool. I like this one a lot. Not as much as the next one, but I like it. It's got rid of that cre crappy looking thing they put on the front there. Everything's smooth, you know, pretty much factory, just some modifications done to it. Just nice and clean. I like it, but dirty at the same time. So I like it. Okay, so finally, this one, guys, this one is... Um, this will go down as probably one of my favorite pimp jobs I've done. Just out of the sheer stupidity of me uh, taking on a project like this. Did not take me too long, but uh, you know, it's just, I don't know. I just, for some reason, I like the San Remo a lot. It's a great knife. And I wanted to do something that nobody's ever done. I mean, I've seen uh, Bauer and a couple other people do a lot of pimp jobs on these things. And I could just do what he asked me to do, which is a carbon fiber scale. and. 
bronze the screws or whatever, but that would be kind of boring, right? So we'll start from the ass end here. So we got on this side, the frame lock side, you see it's a uh, factory. Uh, it's been polished up with some nice lines, you know, just some nice grind lines on there, hand polished look to it. Uh, you got the carbon fiber gear backspacer, as well as the carbon fiber contoured scales, just nicely polished uh, the um, screws and everything. But this one is missing something. Here's the blade for it. Decided to chuck that one and went with a better alternative. I basically rebladed this motherfucker. So what you have here is a complete custom San Remu. Totally crazy. It is sort of chisel ground, but it is ground on both sides. There's a nice V grind, so it cuts. It's convex as well. This side is uh, titanium. Uh, has like a hand rub to it. Well, now I just made it look all crappy with my greasy hands. Ow. I think I just cut myself. Hold on. Alright, whatever. So yeah, this side is titanium. Got the logo there. A nice convex edge. Uh, everything on the side is just kind of sterile and satin. And then on this side, it's uh, you see it's a uh, piece of titanium uh, basically secretly attached to a piece of carbon fiber. Uh, it's just freaking gorgeous, guys. I love this thing, and I hope the guy who owns this shits himself when he sees this because he had no idea I was doing this to it, uh, and I hope he likes it. Uh, you know, titanium is probably a better cutter than this crappy steel. Well, this is decent steel, the 8CR13 MOV, but it's not too far off from a titanium blade. And plus, this thing is just basically like a, uh, kind of like a Warren Thomas type of thing. Uh, Warren Thomas has done this a bunch of times, uh, so definitely got to pay honor to him first. But this just, I just love the way it looks. It's just crazy. The whole thing is just, and it, it's, oh, it's just so sick with the satin on the edge here, satin here, here, and here, and then the satin side here. It just looks so sexy. And then with the uh, half and half blade, it's definitely cool as hell. I love the jimping out because it's more of a gentleman folder. Probably the most most uh, valuable San Remu ever made now. So uh, there's one mod I have to make for it. I basically have to take it off and surface grind the carbon fiber size. It might be a little bit too thick. I think it's rubbing right there uh, just because it kind of smashes in there. But you see the chisel grind's nice. Everything fits in there, detent's good. Um, doesn't whip open yet, but that's why I think that's why I think uh, it might be a little too thick. But uh, you know the tang is uh, cut properly to the same specifications as the original. Uh, it's mainly contacting the titanium portion of the blade, and as you can see, the the lock is decent. Uh, you got a lot more going on, so that's at f about 50%. Um, the lock also has to be pressed out a little bit. It's I think it's uh, going in a little too far. Um, yeah. I'm pretty pretty damn happy with this one. It's pretty awesome looking. It's good music for this one. That's just crazy looking. That's sick. So bro, when you see this uh, guy who owns the San Ramos, I know you, I'm probably going to try to give you a call, but give me a ring if you see this before I talk to you. Uh, let me know what you think, because I really want to know what your reaction was to uh, seeing this guy done like this. Uh... I mean, it's not the slimmest grind in the world, but it cuts. It cuts nice. It's very sharp. Look at these beauties. So I'm listening to some epic Muse music.
thing likes the camera. Just love the way the uh, carbon fiber layering looks there. There was a lot of modifications. The uh, stop pin is bigger and thicker. Uh, extended it out a little bit all around just to compensate for the thicker blade. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think of this insane San Remu. Uh, I'm in love with it. I think it's freaking awesome. Uh, definitely turned a $25 knife into a decent, decent uh, custom. So uh, you can see the blade is pretty exact on. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, T-shirts will be going out by Monday, <laughs> uh, so I gotta get those out, guys. Sorry for the delay, but uh, they will be sent out uh, with stickers and stuff. Some will go out sooner, you know. But I, I just gotta get the car so I can get there. All right, guys. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Peace.